We are suffering from a knife crime epidemic. That's what the headlines tell us. But what do the statistics say? Offences involving a knife are at a record level in England and Wales, according to police crime data, with 40,000 recorded in the year to March 2018. Even so, we should bear some context in mind. The number of knife homicides up until last year was not out of line with the historical norm of the past four decades. Accepting that there is a short-term spike, why is it happening? There's a plethora of suspects. First, police cuts. Last year, there were 122,400 police officers in England and Wales, 15% fewer than in 2010. The police say that this decline in manpower is linked to the increase in knife crime. A leaked Home Office document seemed to support this last year when it noted that this was unlikely to be the factor that triggered the shift in serious violence, but may be an underlying driver that has allowed the rise to continue. Second, the government's austerity agenda. In London, there has been a 36% reduction in youth service budgets since 2012, and a similar story nationwide. This has been blamed for alienating youngsters, pushing them into the arms of gangs, However, knife crime spikes can also occur when public spending is rising, as happened in Glasgow in the 2000s, which became the murder capital of Europe in 2005. Sharp instruments were the most common murder weapon, accounting for half of the total in that year. Third, reduced use of stop and search. Rates slumped after 2010. Some are now clamoring for the policing tactic to be brought back, however, a 2016 study of a previous Met Police initiative concluded a large increase in weapon searches was found to have no impact on police recorded crime at the borough level. Fourth, school exclusions. The former Met boss Lord Hogan Howe argues that exclusions can drive young people into knife crime. Yet permanent exclusions fell by 87% between 2006 and 2014, prompting the Ministry of Justice to conclude that they cannot be a major short-term driver of knife possession offences. Exclusions have picked up more recently, but not enough to be the sole driver of the spike in knife crime. Other suspects range from the plausible, structural changes in the drugs trade, to the speculative, rising social media use, to the doubtful, malign culture and family breakdown. The picture is complex, and no one factor is likely to be the sole culprit.